uh, Deputy President, um, governors present here, ministers, friends uh, who are partners with us in this effort from the World Food Program, from Safaricom, from USAID, and all the other organizations uh, present here today. Ladies and gentlemen, this afternoon we are here to uh, flag off food, as has been mentioned by uh, our CS uh, responsible. Um, we have in these uh, 50 trucks 20,000 uh, bags of rice, 20,000 bags of beans, and assorted animal feed together with uh, cooking oil that will go to the various parts of our country that today are facing serious challenges of drought. 3.5 million citizens in the Republic of Kenya are today severely affected by drought, not to mention livestock and other areas that are affected, delivery of water, the absence of pasture in many parts of, of our country. Currently, we have 23 counties across the country that are suffering the very serious and severe effects of drought. To avert any untoward further suffering of citizens in these areas, I did ask my deputy to convene a meeting of governors and all the other stakeholders. And uh, we now have a plan of action to build on the plan that existed before so that we can efficiently and expeditiously deal with the effects of drought in the various parts of our country. Um, the brief that we have is that the many people who are suffering food, water, and many livelihoods, loss of many, life, uh, many types of livelihoods, including livestock, as I have said, about 3.5 million Kenyans are affected in this manner. The food we are flagging up today, the next consignment, I have already agreed with the ministry concerned and with Treasury to make resources available so that the next tranche will be on Friday and on a weekly basis, we will assess the situation and see what this intervention will mean for the people around the country and what additionally can be done as we go into the future. I want to commend uh, development partners who are working with us, who are uh, distributing food, those engaged in cash transfer, on the ground, I have asked that we are going to have a meeting on Wednesday with our development partners so that we can harmonize our approach and make sure that we avoid any duplication in any part of the country and so that we can leverage on the county teams that are assisting in identifying beneficiaries of this food and other items. I have also instructed the ministry responsible for water to urgently mobilize water bozas so that we can deliver water to many parts of, uh, of Kenya and under the direction of the deputy president, they will map out the areas that require water bowsers together with the governors present here and those who are not here so that again we can be able to address uh, that challenge of water around uh, the country. Thirdly, 
we have also agreed that county governments will equally make provisions in their budget even if they have to slow down some of their projects and programs so that we can take care of this uh, situation. The same thing we are doing at the national government, we expect county governments to adjust their budget so that there can be available additional resources to take care of the drought situation in the country. I have also told the deputy president being the chair of IBEC to make sure that county governments are facilitated to adjust their budgets so that they can make resources available working with the, the controller of budget and all the other institutions so that we can take care of this situation because indeed it is a very severe situation. I also want to say that um, uh, to thank the military, NYS, our development partners for mobilizing the transportation of this food uh, around, around the, the country and into the counties that require this food. And we are looking forward to working with others to make sure that we facilitate this whole exercise. I have also um, asked the Treasury to work with the counties so that they can favorably consider adjustments of the various um, uh, interventions that are required to make it much more easy for Kenyans to uh, deal with the current uh, situation. We will also be mobilizing resources for animal offtake, where we find that uh, the animals are too weak. We are going to work with Kenya Meat Commission to make sure that uh, there is an offtake program that will facilitate uh, citizens not to, get, not to be stuck with livestock when they do not have a uh, pasture. And finally, let me also say that um, I have asked uh, the Deputy President to, on a weekly basis, make these consultations uh, possible so that we can monitor as government uh, the steps that are required for us to uh, ensure that no Kenyan dies of hunger as we manage the effects of climate change and as we think on the long-term solutions to this uh, challenge. Finally, I am asking all our farmers across uh, uh, the country that we are now in the process of facilitating availability of fertilizer in many parts of our country, especially those with short rains, we will also mobilize for fertilizer for the long rains. I want to ask all farmers who had cut back on acreage under food production that the government of Kenya will support them fully in these short rains and in the coming long rains so that we can produce sufficient food to take care of our food requirements as a country. And in the short term, we are working as part of our plan to ensure that we have, we transit our agriculture from rain fed to irrigation. And in so doing, we are going to be working with the private sector on the delivery of water under our public-private partnership. As I have committed, we are going to work on the law so that we create provision for water purchase agreements that will make it possible for the private sector to invest in the water sector and we can buy water from them and we do not have to deploy huge resources from government in that sector, the private sector can, can work with us in our bigger plan of ensuring that Kenya becomes a food secure nation. It is my hope 
that this will be among the last times we are doing this kind of ceremony where Kenyans are facing starvation and hunger and we have to do this. I think it is possible for us going into the future to have a much more proactive approach to situations like this so that we manage them ahead of time and avoid situations of a crisis like the one we are in. For the last four years, we have had failure of rain in many parts of Kenya. That is what has exacerbated this situation, and hopefully we should be able to be better prepared